welcome to talk to demi again today i come up with my new content and this content is a basic content but it should be good aesthetic look so today my content is on print how to print your primavera p6 data into hard copy so manage our header footers and our other time scale data and page setup so i will go for primavera p6 here and i will open my project which is prim project villa construction here so here you can see my project is open you can see four option under close all so one is page setup the other one is print setup and the other one is print preview and the last one is print so last one print when we go there so you can see here print ter name as we see in any software there is also a print option so it at that location you have to set just your printer so if i set my printer into pdf for example i will set my printer into do pdf v7 it's convert into pdf so you can see its properties we defined a4 so this is property of my printer it's a pdf creator so that's why it's also showing that these are pages from 1 to 14 so this is also an option of page setup and this is print preview so when we come to print preview print preview from here also you can go here and print preview when we open print preview so there is an also option of page setup here print setup print and publish to html you can publish this one to html zoom in zoom out, zoom out and these are page down page page up right and this is cross window and help so from here we will go for page setup you can see this is a clear project on the top of this project this is project name its layout type and its project start date early start date and these are page number legend so i will go for page setup here and first i will go for option here if i remove my all the tables and gantt chart so you can see the layout should be look like that you can see it easily so first i will go for the page and in the page option you can adjust into 100% and you have to size your page and you have to decide its orientation portrait or landscape then you go to your option and you have to first see here what we have to add here so first i will like to show you activity tables when i add activity tables okay all the activity table here what i added will be shown here i will play set up again and in this time if i add gantt chart so this time we also see the gantt chart here let me show you this is gantt chart it come into next page but it's showing you can see it the gantt chart is shown in our next page so i will go there and for page setup you can see it fit into one page time scale okay not all columns when we uncheck this one option when we not show our all columns then we apply here this fit time scale too so you can also see here fit page wider to 1 
if you fit your page wider to one and tall you don't change you can also see it convert into four pages and in the option you can show your all columns here you can see your all columns are showing but in this case you, when you fit your time scale and you remove your columns here and you apply here you can see the activities are less but time scale is also showing and but your columns are not complete start finish and only the column which are just in dragged in are showing the next option here in this next option how to add a profile here so we will go for there and on the top there is activity user profile all active all activities i can show my bottom i will go for activity user profile i show my all curve here you can see here this one is this line is our budget line So how I will show you in the print here you can see there is no up to last page seventh page and I will go for their page setup and in page setup we can add profile here in the bottom that's okay you can see here profile on the bottom you can see here I have shown my profile in the bottom so what I do, I will just go there, option, I will remove other, all the items here, I will apply only my S curve profile will be shown here. the whole my whole curve is drawn here and you can also fit this one into one into one also one page into one page this is your whole s curve on the cost based so you can show here and you can show all the other columns here gantt chart and all the tables with grid lines columns You can see here this one on one page, just your all the schedule on one page with your spreadsheet. You can plot on a big plotter, big size image. So you can also add here spreadsheet. This is a spreadsheet here, file here, and you go for page setup. What we will do, we will go for first, see here, and we will go for there, adjust to time scale 1. And this time I will show you only spreadsheet, apply, this is my spreadsheet, and you can also go for there, and page wider, 3 you can make this page wider three up to three page wide you can go for page five wider and you can change change the tallest into 10 here you can see it's better and showing change this one to 7 it's, it should be 5 and this should be increased up to 15 so it can be clearly 
here you can see your spreadsheet is showing so i show you how to make spreadsheet here we will go for again and here we see here spreadsheet gantt chart profile okay we will go for trace logic so there is an also option of trace logic here so this is option of trace logic this is or these are trace logics and i will add logic here in the bottom user there activity network and when you go for the activity network you can see your all the logics here file print preview here you can see your all the logics here and when we go for there back and activity details here file print preview and go for page option activity tables grid lines gantt chart okay so the next step is to go there you can see here margin you can set your margins here it's 0.5 you can decrease and you can increase your margins from top left right and bottom so this one is header you can add your headers by on the top you can see divide into three parts you can make it four section you can see here four sections you can make into three sections four section it will be divided and 25% 25% 25% 25% and height of your header is 0.25 you can increase it to 0.75 you can here increase it to 0.8175 so you can include all the pages you can include into only first or last page i will show you in all the pages and the first here we can write project name there is text or logo modify and picture add my logo here testing okay this one is layout name i remove this one and i will just minimize the logo from here just go for there and logo here okay you can see i have added logo apply and i apply you can see here logo is showing i will just modify my logo and just make it to smaller apply that now you can see here it's now clear and the next one we can add a modify here a revision you can also go for there and the text on log logo in the text you can also in the project name you can also modify it into a uh, a different language a different font bold okay project name will be appear see you project name will be appear you can also make change size of this one here you can see size and you can also modify it and by pressing on an enter button you can move it to center here you can see it's adjusted to center your project name and here i add a revision box here in the revision box you can add the date of your revision you can add on 25th february revision number or whatever you like checked and approved name you can also add it apply you can see the revision box and the third one if we add want to add a picture here so this is an also option you go for there and in the desktop i add a picture here and i apply it you can see i added a picture so in the footer you can see in the footer there is also gantt chart ledgers there is page number and an 
other the th the, the third one is oracle corporation and the filter list so this is footer you can also add divide into parts and you can change the height of the footer and this one is header i show you the example here this is applied here on the top footer and as it is you can add your legends page numbers and whatever you want you can add in in the footer also so this is my lecture about printing you can press no control p and now you can print this one to do pdf 14 pages okay pm i will save it to on my to desktop so this will convert into pdf right now i will show you how it's created report printed okay our content about printing of its content about print how to print in primavera p6 your data or your database into a file into printer so like comment share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press bell icon see you in the next video